What is the meaning of this sign? Steep road ahead. And uh, the grade of this road is 7%. So what does that mean? It means that uh, the road drops 7 feet vertically for every 100 feet horizontally, like so. So this is the slope of the line. And what is slope? Well, it's the steepness of a line. OK, so we have a few versions of the slope. So M stands for a slope of something. And there's a couple of ways to write it. So firstly, you could read it as rise over run. Now, if you look a little bit further, your rise is really represented by two y values, y2 minus y1. And your run is in the horizontal direction. And that is going to be our x values. So if you have a line uh, with a positive slope, it's going to look like that. And a line with a negative slope will look like that. If you can put those into your mind, it'll help you um, uh, understand this concept a little better. All right, so let's determine the slope of this line. You could do a couple ways. You could see how many units it's rising up and how many it's running over. And if you know this has a positive slope to it, um, that will help solve your answer here. So rise would be 3. And your run would be 6. And so you can reduce that fraction to 1 half. And the slope is positive and the line increases. OK, so we're going to go ahead and uh, use our slope formula from earlier to solve this question. So we have two points. Now, first thing I would recommend is labeling these points. In the alphabet, x comes before y, x and y, x and y. And uh, additionally here, this is this here is our first point so we'll call this x1 and y1 and this is our second point over here we'll call that x2 and y2 so our formula tells us that we're going to subtract the y values now it's important to notice that it's y2 minus y1 so we've identified up here our y2 value is 1 and our y1 value is 2 so we're going to subtract those so let's see what we got here. This is our y2. This is our y1. This is our x2. This is our x1. If you go, all you need to do is just go back to the points that we, we originally labeled up here, and you can find the numbers. And a little bit of simplification that this turns out to be 1 half as well. So let's repeat. Same formula, same idea, x1, y1 x2, y2. We'll fill our values in. Let's just double check to make sure these are correct. And there's our simplification and there is our final answer. So determine the slope of this line. Virus checker. You've got a couple of points. Use them to apply the rise and the run. And then you can simplify that. So uh, what's our slope when we have a horizontal line? Well, this line doesn't rise up. So our rise is 0. And so we're going to have an answer of 0. So this line has a slope of 0. What about the opposite? The line doesn't have a run. That means our bottom number is 0. If you take any number and divide by 0, your calculator will try to explode. It'll say error. It'll say undefined. All vertical lines have undefined slopes.